Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be showing you how to create vocal chops. We built an end up, end up, end up, end up. Okay, so this is one that I've been asked for a long time to do, and it is, uh, I'm going to be using the Jet Fuel session here to run through with you guys, and it's how I do my vocal chops. I'm going to be breaking this down into three steps for you guys. So first one is finding the right sample, the right vocal chop. Next, the actual MIDI signal that you're going to create, and then finally, the processing of the lead. So we're going to get started here with finding the right sample. So... This here is the sample that I used for this track. So you can hear that it is a little sample and you can probably tell by the, uh, the track na uh, name here that I've loaded into Sampler, it is the Noises Acapella. Um, and this is actually Sarah Bodle's Acapella here. Uh, out of my track Noises, which I had made just before, and I actually used this last little bit where she says vibe for the the, 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 the uh, chop, so you'll be able to hear that. Bye. Bye. Um, one little tip that I found really helpful when it comes to selecting a good vocal chop um, and a good sample is number one, it needs to be really clean and have a good tone to it. Um, stuff with it, she's maybe got... Uh, Stuff that isn't vowels, if you know what a vowel is, it's like A-E-I-O-U. Stuff like this t tends to work really well. And also the words at the end of a phrase. I'm not quite sure why, but they seem to work for me a lot of the time, which is this one here in particular is the end. It's the last word. Um, so maybe this is something that's worked for me. It might work for you when uh, looking for a good chop. Okay, so next we're going to be getting into the actual MIDI of the the track but before we do that um we're just gonna go through the sample sampler here and we've got a little setting here that i actually adjusted and this is to give the portamento slide that uh you hear in the track so bye, bye. Bye, bye. you can hear when the next note is triggered it actually has a slide up to the tone rather than being bye, 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 bye. which is uh if the notes are played separately, bye, bye. you can hear how it slides. And that's how it gets that little effect that you hear on the drop. So portamento and just adjusting the time. It's quite a long time, so it has quite a slow uh, thing. So next up is creating a good MIDI. Um, this here was just uh, something that I came up with. The first note here being uh, a whole octave beneath. Um, and then just working, you know, it's a pretty simple little melody, really. Uh, nothing too crazy, not a lot of different notes, but just just plays around to give it a little bit of interest. It's not sort of just hammering that sort of uh, one tone. It gives it a little bit of little bit of bop and vibe. So I'll give you a demonstration of how that ended up coming together. <laughs> And that's that one there. It was uh, something that I came up with and it's simple and it does the job. So finally, we just, I'm going to go through and show you guys the processing for the Jet Fuel uh, vocal chop. So I'm going to turn this all off and we'll turn this on as we go. And I'll explain to you what everything in this chain is doing. So first of all, just a little bit of compression. Um, this is just compressing the signal. As you can hear, that was quite a dry, quite quiet, and definitely had a lot of room to be boosted. So we're just boosting up the sound with a little bit of compression. Just pushing it up a little bit. Next, some sidechain compression, which is being sidechained off of this crispy clapsy up the top here. What is also... We've got an EQ side chain, which is side chaining everything over 
800 hertz. So we're leaving the bass in there, which is good. we're going to come to later. And that's actually something I completely forgot that I did. And it actually gives the uh, the sound a quite a unique effect, which you're going to hear once we turn on the CLA vocals. So. <laughs> You can hear with that side chain on, it's really, it's quite aggressive and it's really pushing the, uh, that offbeat sort of vibe, which was back with the Melbourne Bounce stuff. It was all about that boppiness and that sort of offbeat little flick that it had. And that side chain compression really gave that effect. So it's almost a little bit too much there, but you'll see once I turn on the uh, next plugin, which is our CLA Vocals. Really, really great vocal processing chain. Definitely recommend. If you're looking for something and you're having trouble processing your vocals, um, get this. It does it all in one plugin, and you trust me, it is all you would ever need. So we're going to turn that on. So you clearly you can hear the difference that it makes. It's boosting things up. Um, I believe that I've just gone through and just we've got the old uh, Rockman Dry preset there with just a little bit of tweaking. I think I pulled the reverb and delay down just a touch, but uh, it could just be the preset. There's nothing wrong with just using the preset. That's what it's there for. If it sounds good, it sounds good, right? Um, so there we have that. Next up, some EQ. We're just... Uh, as you can see here, boosting the top end, boosting up those highs. And then next, uh, a little bit of EQ here to take a little bit of the, it was overpronounced in the lower mid harmonics and was maybe giving a little bit of a muddy sound um, to the vocal. So we're just cleaning that up. <laughs> It's getting pretty close now, and then finally we just got a little bit of compression at the end, um, and a little bit of utility to boost it up. And then the final result that you end up with is... Okay, thanks guys. So that's how I do my vocal chops and uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.